This Republican-led House is an unmitigated disaster. I would say it's a clown show, but that would be a disservice to actual working clowns. They're acting like spoiled, rotten children who, who got what they want and still can't take yes for an answer. But they own all of this now. And if anyone needs more proof than that, look no further than the sponsor of this resolution, Marjorie Taylor Greene, a MAGA extremist who amplifies Holocaust deniers, who said 9-11 was a hoax, who says wildfires are started by Jewish space lasers. That's the legislative and intellectual force behind this impeachment resolution. In fact, if it passes, she's going to be an impeachment manager on the floor of the United States Senate. God help us. It's just more proof that this is fraudulent, unconstitutional garbage. But Donald Trump wants another fraudulent impeachment, another distraction from his own legal troubles, another excuse to kill a bipartisan border deal instead of working across the aisle to get something done. This impeachment resolution uh, was supposed to be our second rule of the day. We had an emergency meeting last week in the Rules Committee about fixing salt. Everybody hurry up, it's an emergency. Better do it right away so we can vote quickly. And then, get this, then last night, a change was made to pull their emergency bill from the schedule. It was such an emergency that Republicans decided it's not an emergency at all. So not only did their uh, bill not even fix the problem that they themselves created, it's not even going to come to the floor now because of their inability to govern. This majority is so incompetent, they couldn't even manufacture a fake vote to pretend New York Republicans are good at legislating. We wasted hours last Thursday at the Rules Committee debating a rule that's now been pulled from consideration. And for what? Mr. Speaker, impeachment is one of the most solemn, serious, somber things that we can do in this body. It's not something that ought to get thrown around lightly or invoked when you disagree with someone or you don't like their policies or you, don't, or you think they're doing a bad job. It's something that should happen after a grave constitutional offense has been committed, a crime against the Republic. The founders in Article I reserve it only for treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors. And so today, I'm very confused because our Republican colleagues have presented zero evidence for impeachment. This could be the first time in American history an impeachment will go to the floor of the United States House of Representatives with no evidence, no proof, no elements of a crime, nothing at all. And you don't have to take my word for it. Listen to the lead Republican for immigration policy, our colleague Tom McClintock. And he says, and I quote, the problem is the articles fail to identify an impeachable crime that May Orcas has committed. In effect, they stretch and distort the Constitution in, in order to hold the administration accountable." End quote. Another Republican, Ken Buck, says, and I quote, Secretary Mayorkas did not com commit an impeachable offense and is not guilty of high crimes or misdemeanors. End quote. These are not my words. These are your fellow colleagues, Mr. Speaker openly admitting that these vague, unprecedented articles of impeachment trivialize this process and make a total mockery of this institution. And what does this impeachment have to do with fixing our challenges at the border? Nothing at all. They say this is about securing the border. And, the, and their plan to secure the border is to impeach the guy responsible for securing the border and replace him with now wait for this, wait for it, they aren't sure. The chairman of the Committee on Homeland Security couldn't tell us during our Rules Committee meeting who will replace Secretary Mayorkas if he were removed. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. For months and months and months, Republicans have said that they would shut down the government, they would default on our debt, refuse to do anything unless we passed a border bill. Well, good news. Senate Republicans worked out a border bill, and the person who negotiated it for Republicans, Senator Lankford, 
was someone Donald Trump endorsed. Donald Trump said, and I quote, that Senator Langford is strong on the border, end quote. So I'm shocked, I'm shocked by the Republican rejection of Senator Langford's bill. Before we even saw what was in it, before the ink was even dry on the discussion draft, Donald Trump came out and he ordered them to kill it. He ordered them to do nothing to fix our broken immigration system. They'd rather let chaos prevail than work with Democrats to have a conversation about a path forward. Because here's the truth. Here's the truth, Mr. Speaker. Republicans simply do not want to participate in government. They want to create chaos, they want to create confusion, and they want to create a campaign issue for Donald Trump going into the next election. They're not interested in solving problems. They only want to gain power. And that's the real dereliction of duty here. Host Republicans' refusal to address our challenges at the border because Donald Trump told them he wants a crisis so he can help his campaign, so he can hide from his crimes. Well, they own this now. Republicans own this now. They own the border. They own the fentanyl crisis. They own it all because they refuse to behave like adults. So here we are, here we are, because Trump calls the shots around here. He directed Speaker Johnson and extreme MAGA Republicans not to work with Democrats to address challenges at the border. And, get, and you know, one thing we know, Republicans work for Trump. Not for you, the voters. They worship and they work for Donald Trump, who doesn't care about anybody but himself. They are frightened to death of the former president. Secretary Mayorkas, Mr. Speaker, is a good man, a decent man, someone who is trying to do his job, despite the fact that Republicans refuse to give him the tools needed to do what they are asking him to do. He's an honorable public servant who respects law enforcement and takes seriously his oath of office and his obligation to uphold and enforce the law. And in smearing his good name, Republicans are only impeaching themselves and showing what all their rhetoric about the border has been nothing more than a bunch of BS. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I reserve my time.